हाय वेलकम टू एन आई ट्रिपल टी एंड ऑनलाइन स्वयं मॉड्यूल सेवन क्रिएटिव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग इनोवेशन एंड मीनिंगफुल आर एन डी ग्रेडेड असेसमेंट सिक्स क्वेश्चन वन एज अ टीचर यू वॉन्ट टू कलेक्ट डेटा फॉर यूअर रिसर्च स्टडी फ्रॉम द फोर इंस्टीट्यूशन यूनिवर्सिटी आउट ऑफ विच टू आर गवर्नमेंट एंड टू आर सेल्फ फाइनेंसड इंस्टीट्यूशन The student population consists of male and female of first to four year of study. Which of the following technique of sampling would you use? Option A, simple random sampling. Option B, stratified random sampling. Option C, systematic random sampling. Option D, cluster sampling. And correct option is option B, stratified random sampling. Question two. If the population consists of three different age groups, that is below twenty-five years, twenty-five to forty-five years, and forty-five to sixty-five years, and the number is two hundred, one fifty, and two fifty respectively, you intend to select a sample of three hundred using proportionate random sampling techniques. The number selected in each category will be option A, hundred, hundred, hundred; option B, hundred, seventy-five, one twenty-five. Option C seventy five hundred one twenty five, option D one twenty five hundred seventy five, and correct option is option B hundred seventy five one twenty five. Question three: Assume that you are conducting a study on the industry, and there are cities in the state where there is a high concentration of industry, and there are cities where There is a less concentration of industry. Which of the following sampling technique would you prefer to select a sample for the study? Option A, simple random sampling. Option B, purposive sampling. Option C, quota sampling. Option D, cluster sampling. And correct option is option D, cluster sampling. Question four. In case you want to have extra class for experimentation of new technique of meditation on students, you should prefer option A, simple random sampling; option B, volunteer sampling; option C, snowball sampling; option D, quota sampling. And correct option is option B, volunteer sampling. Question five. Which of the following is not a probability sampling technique? Option A, simple random sampling. Option B, systematic sampling. Option C, snowball sampling. Option D, stratified random sampling. And correct option is option C, snowball sampling. Question six: The process to arrive at questions or items for a questionnaire involves writing. Option A, purpose of the study. Option B. Research questions. Option C. Criterion questions. Option D. All of the above. And correct option is option D. All of the above. Question seven. If you are interested in collecting data on how students are engaged by teachers in the classrooms, the measuring instrument you would prefer will be option A. Interviews. Option B. Questionnaire. Option C. Observation schedule. Option D. Standardized test. And Correct option is option C. Observation schedule. Question eight. The characteristics of standardized test include option A. Reliability. Option B. Validity. Option C. Norms. Option D. All of the above. And the correct option is option D. All of the above. Question nine. To validate the information collected through questionnaire, a researcher can. Option A: Take the interview of selected sample. Option B: Make observations of the ongoing processes. Option C: Both option A and option B. Option D: Neither option A nor option B. And the correct option is option C. Both option A and option B. Question ten: Which of the following is not a principle of designing a questionnaire? Option A: Avoid double negatives. Option B: Avoid double barrel questions. Option C, avoid leading questions. Option D, avoid using multiple items to measure a single construct. And correct option is option D, avoid using multiple items to measure a single construct. Thanks for watching.